Hey guys, I'm Craig and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the Fox Tower by Alex Cruz Shapes or Die. So the foxtail is Alex Cruz, stretched out fish, not quite mid-length, easy to surf but still high performance um, offering. Um, and I've been riding it in the 6.5, which is 6.5 by 20 and 3 eighths by 2 and 9 sixteenths, and it's exactly 36 litres. So looking over, uh, the foxtail kind of has a classic kind of fish outline. Uh, but not too full in the, the front end. You know, a lot of fishes I'd probably ride five, 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 six, have a very full um, nose that comes into a beak. Still nice and kind of streamlined, got a bit of a performance shortboard feel. Uh, comes through, pretty straight outline, holds a lot of its width through the middle, like, you know, the middle, you know, three fifths or something of the board. And it tapers into a nice swallow tail that's not too wide and not too narrow. Um, looking at the rocker, Still got, again, like a bit of a performance feel through the nose. Uh, Alex Cruz is a performance shortboard shaper, um, so it's going to have a lot of a performance feel. Um, so yeah, enough there, lift there to keep you out of trouble, be able to turn, jam it in the pocket, uh, and still be a lot of fun. Fairly flat through the middle, a little bit of lift in the tail, not too much, and it might be off the side of the Vs that makes it look like more rocker through the tail than it is, um, but just nice and gentle through the back. So get your cross sections, keep it really uh, smooth and easy across to get flat and weak sections. Uh, on the bottom, it's a V bottom, so really gentle V. Uh, I can feel a bit of a V there, and it's quite pronounced through this kind of, this back end of the board. Comes through, and I think he says it's a double V through the back, and then it almost feels like it flattens out off the back through the swallow there, but you can still see the V drop away on the swallows and, and create that kind of uh, extra kind of rocker line when you look at it from the side angle. Um, so I was lucky enough to get the Foxtail off Alex a couple of months ago. I was up on the Gold Coast with the family, uh, picked it up from where he shapes at the glass lab. Uh, and luckily there was a bit of swell and we're staying on one of the point breaks up there. And you know, the board was designed with those Gold Coast point breaks in mind. So it was awesome to surf in those point breaks where I could get, you know, three, four, five turns into a wave, long stretch out wave, sections where I'm pumping to get ahead, you know, little head dips and stuff like that. I'm not gonna claim barrels, but little head dips, but actually enjoy those really, those Gold Coast um, point breaks that the Gold Coast is so famous for. Um, and also having a board, I guess they can also be really crowded, um, hard to get waves. If I'm on something low volume like my shortboard, probably not getting all the waves I'd really like to and getting through that crowd. So I must say that the 36 litres, you know, four or five litres more than I normally ride in my short boards, which are around like 31, 31 and a half litres, definitely made paddling uh, a little bit easier and my wave count probably a little bit higher than it would have been had I been on a short board. Uh, so it's really good to experience it in those waves that it was kind of designed for. I uh, got a few really good waves across the week that I was there. Uh, I live in Sydney, so we're heading back down the East Coast. Uh, stopped in at Crescent Head, uh, not really a secret spot, so you know, got some really fun waves across two days at Crescent, kind of in the two to four foot range. Sometimes that wave's pretty full. It held its way across flat sections, was really easy to surf. Some steeper sections, I really felt I could jam it like a short board. It's very, very capable uh, for a 6.5 board that's, you know, five, six inches longer than my short board and, you know, four to five liters more than my short board. And when a section, you know, came up, um, it definitely didn't hold back and it was a very, very capable board. Um, knowing it was designed around point breaks and those great surfs I had in, you know, a variety of, you know, world-class point breaks, I wasn't sure about how it would come coming back to Sydney. You know, we get some pretty fun waves, but it's a mixture of rights and lefts. Some of them are really quick. We get a lot of closeouts. It's generally pretty windy. Uh, I wasn't sure how it would go, but the Foxtail has really surprised me. And there was probably a couple of months there. You know, um, I think I mentioned before, I got pretty unwell and I wasn't feeling very comfortable riding short boards or low volume. This was something I was riding all the time. And, and the volume, you know, it's paddle power. I would say it's 36 liters, which is more than my short boards. But I'm also riding some other boards which have considerably more foam than this. But this just feels like everything is in the right place and it makes paddling really, really easy. And getting across sections, getting, you know, past sections, down the line, it just moves really, really well. He has really nailed how he's put this board together, where the foam is and how it surfs. So yeah, bring it home to Sydney. You know, I've surfed on some 
one foot junky rubbish days and some six foot big eight foot junky days <laughs> it's been a great board i've surfed in some good waves it's been a real surprise package conditions where i'd normally grab a fish like a little something groveler a short board or a step up i'd actually been riding this the whole time because yeah from kind of one to eight foot it was a very very capable board in the foxtail alex recommends uh, with futures the machado keel so when i got the board home on the gold coast uh, i had a bunch of other twin fins but i actually didn't have any keel setups all i had was futures t1s and i had some album twin fins so i rode it with a both upright twin fins so i rode it with an upright twin fin and the board was amazing and i'm like wow i'm stuck with these fins i'm not going to go buy some keels i've got a whole bunch of them at home when i get home this thing's going to be amazing as a keel kept riding it as an upright twin put some keels in it put the machado keels put the k2s by futures i preferred it as an upright twin so um t1s son of cobras en's but this is the Zach Flores twin fin uh, by Futures, which is what I really kind of, you know, ended on. Um, not a huge surface area, much smaller than the EN, a little bit less than the T1, but they're a very solid feeling fin. So where they don't have the same surface area, say the T1 or the EN, the really solid construction still gives them a really, you know, really tight and a really nice feel, a lot of control. And there's definitely no need for a stabilizer. Like I said, Alex has recommended the Machado Keel. He is, Alex is a really good surfer and he's an amazing shaper, so he knows what he's talking about. But for me personally, I really like the upright twin. It allowed the board to surf, you know, more performance orientated, you know, do re-entries. We've got some footage of some, you know, pretty average surfing and some not great waves. But yeah, the board was very, very capable. That's riding an upright twin. And, and I found myself not wanting to go back to a keel and just sticking with an upright twin in the board. So uh, if you're looking at futures, uh, T1, Son of Cobra, Zach Flores, or even the EN. Uh, if you're a fan of FCS fins, um, again, I think he recommends the Christensen Keel. But if you want an upright fin, maybe the MR, similar to T1, or the Power Twin, which is similar to the EN. Overall, the Foxtail was absolutely epic. It's been a huge surprise package. I've been checking out a lot of different, like, mid-lengthy, longer, bigger, twin finny type things over the last 12 months. I've got a lot more reviews coming. But this was definitely a surprise package. Uh, if I was to get one board that kind of did everything from kind of one foot through to eight to 10 foot, um, this was it. I don't know if it's a sign of the times, I've recently turned 40 and maybe these boards are a little bit more appropriate, uh, but I definitely enjoyed my surfing on the Fox Tower. It made paddling really easy, definitely up my wave count. And whether it was fat and full or it was sucky and pumping, it felt at home. Uh, look, Alex is a great shaper, makes high performance short boards for some of the world's best surfers, and he definitely knows what he's doing. And he's put that all into this Fox Tower. Uh, his brother, Mitch, you know, an ex world tour surfer, amazing surfer. There's a clip of him surfing, I think early this year with Kira absolutely pumping, and he's riding the Fox Tower. You know, instead of riding a step up, I think he's probably grabbed this. It's upped his wave count. He's on things nice and early. He's getting a lot of waves. He's threading long barrels. He's turning like he's on a short board and it really looked like it worked for him. And it was actually one of the drivers for me to check out the Fox Tower. Look, overall, absolutely loved it. I'd like to thank Alex for the opportunity to check out the Fox Tower and hopefully you get to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching.